You're listening to My Devotional, the daily devotional from Dr. Michael Youssef and Leading the Way. What Happened on Good Friday by Dr. Michael Youssef. When we're tempted to doubt the love of God, all we need to do is look to the cross of Christ and remember that His love led Him there. Jesus endured the worst physical suffering imaginable, His hands and feet nailed to a cruel implement of torture, His back flayed from the scourge of a soldier's whip, and His head pierced by a thorn of crowns. But the Lord also endured another type of pain. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You can read more about that in Matthew chapter 27, verse 46. Some pastors and theologians have tried to discount these words, but there is no way to avoid them. For a short time, while Jesus was dying on the cross, the Father turned his back on him. Jesus bore the judgment of our sin upon the cross. Indeed, Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin for us, and the Father could not look upon him. This divine abandonment wasn't a surprise. It had been prophesied roughly a thousand years prior. In Psalm 22, David wrote of the crucifixion long before the cruel practice was even invented. In verse 14, he says, I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. That's the dislocation of bones caused when a man is stretched into a place on the cross. He continues, My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. That's dehydration caused by the physical toil of crucifixion. Verse 16 says, They pierce my hands and my feet, which points to the nails that held our Savior in place. Even though Jesus knew what would happen to him, the physical, emotional, spiritual pain he would experience, he pressed on. The Bible says he set his face like a flint toward Jerusalem. His goal was the cross. If Jesus was willing to endure all this, we can be confident that his blood can atone for any sin we've committed. Why? Because Jesus would not have done all of that that he did for you and me if it wasn't going to be enough to rescue us. Jesus died forsaken so that we might be accepted. He died rejected so that we might be received. Praise God for his indescribable gift. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for enduring death and separation from the Father for us. We are awed by your precious gift, the gift of eternal life. May we live for you and experience abundant joy and rewarding purpose as we remember that we are loved by our Creator. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If today's devotional encouraged you, we'd love to hear about it. Leave a review and share this episode with a friend who needs to hear it. My devotional is a ministry of Leading the Way with Dr. Michael Youssef. To learn more, visit ltw.org today.